Hey guys, how we doing today? Hope everything's going well for you. We got an auditor from Missouri. He's been around since 2020. He's only made six videos. And uh, one where he got arrested at the Social Security office for filming. That's what the title in his video says. He was arrested for filming. Anyway, uh, yeah. We got that video. Well, part of it, because I cut a bunch of the dead air out. And the part where he calls trying to get a for your request but he won't follow the rules so they keep hanging up on him that's pretty funny anyway let's get right into the video alrighty guys we are here at the social security administration building so I'm sure a lot of people have seen over the past couple of months all summer these social security buildings have been getting run through the ringer with how horrible the employees at these places are acting so I figured I'd go to my local Social Security Administration and take a look. Well, he makes it pretty clear he's going there to incite a reaction because he's heard that uh, they're very unfriendly and not cooperative. So, of course, he's going to go there with his camera and try to force his way in, I guess. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. I'm watching it the same time you are. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Pretty good. How are you? I'm PSO Frost with the uh, VivTech STI. Uh -huh. and just asking... Uh, you're okay to film as long as you have permission from the manager inside the federal facility. Um, and you're, you have yeah. entered into a federal facility? Come on, guys. And you're subject to administrative inspection. We're looking for weapons and or explosives. Does anyone have any of these items in their possession? No. To include pepper sprays, maize, pocket knives, blades of any kind. Cell phones. Okay. Did you oh. see the sign over here that says no okay. photography without permission and stuff? Um, I did not. It's I'll... clearly marked. So I just don't... Is there guys, a... you have... Uh, Take their pocket knives. Oh, perfect. Good. Okay, I got two there. We don't have masks with us, okay. are there? I have some masks up front here. Hi, hon. We're needing masks too. Okay, come on in. Welcome, guys. You've entered into a federal facility subject to administrative inspection. Oh, these guys are so predictable. I think we can see what direction this video is headed in already. Uh, he, uh, he, he's uh, most likely going to refuse to turn off his camera. Just looking for weapons and or explosives. You have any of these items? Okay, sir. You still don't have permission yet, so I'm going to ask. I'm, I'm, I'm letting you. i, I got to okay. read the sign first. I'm just waiting for everyone to get out well, of the way. Well, folks, move over here. All right, here, let's, let's try the size here with everyone else. The federal police officer just on his way will ask me if I get that, you know, right away. You know. Okay. No weapons, cell phones, turn down. Okay. Okay. You did um, see the sign, right? Question. It says right here it's federal law. Where's yeah. the law? Where's the, the where's the okay. MRS code for that? It's not the MRS code. Oh, well, okay. okay, well, what's yeah. the federal law then? Okay, the federal, okay, if you're coming here to yeah. the uh, rules and regulations governing a federal facility, uh -huh. okay, uh, I'm pretty sure it's in one of these, they're CFRs, okay? Yeah. Well, okay, again, uh, you have to have permission from the management or whatever to do that. So I'm going to ask you again. Okay, oh, oh, are, are, are you just want me to step outside right now? You can step outside. Can you give me a copy of this then? Because I'd like to read it. Okay, you can go on the website uh, and get it, okay? I do not have time. I'm working, okay, okay. Uh, to do that. But okay. unless you have... Well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure on these it'll say that if I'm here um, gathering content for news media, then it's okay. No, sir. It's very well known that you can't film inside of a Social Security office because of all the sensitive information. Social Security numbers, you know, and benefits and all of that sort of thing that people like me get on uh, Social Security. Like a Social Security check every month. It's all kinds of numbers all over that stuff, case numbers and, you know, your Social Security number and pr uh, private information. But this guy thinks he's at a post office. He thinks the same rules apply. I, I'm not Absolutely aware of that. Not. No. Absolutely. Do you got a cut? What's your name? Absolutely. You can't be in here. You can yeah, film. You don't have permission to start with being here filming. You can film. If you I'm come in without hey, your call, camera, one, 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 one person at a time. One person at a time. And yes, he's in charge here. He wants one person at a time to address him. He's in full control of this situation in his own little mind. If you if you need to if you need to film any of this literature here, yeah. If you need any of that information, you can. That's what but I'm you doing. You can't be in the facility filming. Okay. You can't be filming people. You can't be filming the customers that come in. Why is that? 
privacy. Don't you know everyone has a pri right to privacy and privacy? Act? They don't need you know their personal business. Just like we don't need to know. I don't need to know your personal business. You, you know, guys are talking about here. private personal yeah. information in the Federal public lobby. Law it's not a public lobby. Right to yeah, sir. yeah. I was asking him about yeah. this. Okay, where's mistaken. He's in a public building. He's not. He's in a government building owned by the federal government. And not the public. That's, that's what you're under. So that's why. Calm, you calm down. Okay, okay, I'm not coming. You, but you're interfering with my duties and everything. You approached me. I, I didn't approach you. And here's the thing. Well, of yeah, course you introduced me. Well, one person at the guy. I, I'm trying to stay I'm calm here. Check, calm I down. Gotta check people in. Yeah. There's there's the law. What, no, if you're not a, if you're not going to abide by that, I will call federal police and you can talk to them. I'll have them come down. You can you can discuss it with them. What I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to when the federal police show up, because I'm assuming they're going to. They are at a federal building. Uh, so, you know, we've heard all this rhetoric before. We don't really need to hear all this mumbo-jumbo word salad again, I don't believe. Anyway, here we go. I found the rule that gives me permission, sir. Hey, sir. Sir, I need to talk to you. I will speak to you in a moment. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. It's not that serious. Calm down. Photographs for news, advertising, or commercial purposes, except where security regulations, rules, orders, or directives apply. I don't know how they get it in their head that that applies to them being able to film. It. it he just said why he couldn't film. He just read it right off that sheet of paper there. Photographs for news, advertising, or commercial purposes are allowed on this property. It says it right here. Rules and right. This is the GSA. This is federal law. That's exactly right. It's federal law, and you're only reading the first line of the sentence. You're not reading the paragraph where it says that you can be stopped from filming if you don't have permission. <sighs> I need to file some public records requests, sir. Sir, uh, if you're going to continue to film customers inside, I'm going to ask him to put you in cuffs, and we're going to put the camera down. The security guard? Yes, the security guard. That won't guard. be very smart. I'm, I'm just, just gonna let I'm, you know. I'm letting you know now. I've asked you to stop recording customers. I've okay. asked you to stop recording in the in the building. Yeah. If you continue to do it, I'm going to ask him to put you in cuffs. That's not going to be a smart move. I'm just going to let you. Oh, so you're locked out of a public building. Look at that. I'm not locked but look out of a public building. Now, now that you're out here actually talking, look. It says right here, for news, advertising, and purposes, I can take pictures in entrances, lobbies, foyers. You don't want to see the law? Just so, just so I'm clear, you did say you called him, right? I've cut out about 30 minutes of this already. Uh, hopefully we're getting close to the federal police showing up and detaining the guy. He's just been a noxious prick at this point. You hear that? He said he's going to put me in cuffs. Going to put me in cuffs for practicing my constitutional rights. Are you guys still keeping me out? Good morning, man. You're good. So they can come in, but I can't? Wow. What about my service? Do, do I get to come in? Do I get to come in? Back no, off. sir. Oh. Back off. What? Back I'm, off. Trying, I'm trying to get served. Do it now. Don't put your hands on me, sir. Back do not put your hands door. on me. I'm you trying to come, trying to come in the that public building. Right he touched me. Unwanted touch is assault. I'll defend myself. Oh, I get so tired of these badass attitude morons. I don't think he's going to defend himself against anything. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we're almost done here. We only got a couple minutes left. Hello, Hello. gentlemen. If I can speak to you right quick. Yeah. Yes, well. Pretty good. How you doing? Yes. Sir, Sir, step step outside. outside. Is this not a public building? Outside. No, it is you not. cannot be in here videotaping. Sure. Step back. So, you see, yes, you're in this. Absolutely. You, see, you guys see this? Absolutely. This is assault. No. This is assault. I'll, I'll defend myself. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to watch me defend myself. Well, He's, touching me. Hey, He's touching me. He's touching me. I'm just going to grab this side of the store and then this okay. officer is going to talk to I you. I can talk to you outside. I'll talk to you right here. No, outside the building, I would prefer. Well, you thanks for letting me know what you facility. Do you have idea on I just got a camera for Christmas. Sir, do you have idea on Of course I do. I don't ever go anywhere. Can I have your idea? No, you can't. Okay, well, 
We've had a call for a call for service, so okay. I have the right to identify you. You've got the right to ask me, but you don't have the right to ID me. I do, you, I do because it's a call for service that we have potentially have a charge on, i.e. trespassing. Okay. So I actually do have a right to identify you. You've got the right to ask. And do you really want to push this? Because the next push thing that happens, if you refuse to identify yourself, we can arrest you for trespassing. I can just put you in handcuffs in and take you to jail. Now? It's still a private entity. They do have the right to refuse service no, to there's, anyone. There's, okay. Can I talk to a supervisor, please? I can call one when we're please. done. Well, no, no, no. There's, okay. The information you're giving me is not correct, so I'd rather just talk to a supervisor. 126 to 120? Yes, this road scholar is going to educate the federal police on how the law works in a federal building. And by road scholar, I mean a guy who walks up and down the road and hollers at people for no reason. <sighs> That's like three, four cops this for this? gentleman is requesting a supervisor if you could hit this way, please. So who told you that just because you got a call for service, you're allowed to have their ID? I know you're a First Amendment officer, sir. So you should know this, then. So why do you go out and do I mean, the things you don't I do you have the right to identify you no, after you, you call for service. Like you I said, have you the right got to identify you make sure you don't have any warrants that kind of thing. You got the right to ask. Okay, well, you are required to produce ID. So what law says that? I don't know the print, trust me, I know my ordinances. The, 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 there's the state only, laws and then there's ordinances. Okay, but the ordinances can't violate my Fourth Amendment. But you do have the right to, you do have to identify yourself. No, I've got an idea if I've been, if I've been, uh, if you suspect me of a crime. Which I do. You're what crime is that? How am I trespassing? This is public because property. Because you've been asked to leave. Public property? They have the right to ask you to leave. No, not if I'm here expressing or, or conducting my rights. But you're also causing a disturbance. No. Allegedly. I've, I've got, allegedly. See, I've got video recording that shows. Okay, I, but I, the I, security see, guard has the right to ask you to leave. No, we don't. Yes, he does. So if I if he come up to me and said, "Man, sir, I don't like the color of your skin. You got to leave." That means I got to leave. That's or leave. or is yeah, that a violation true. of my rights? This is my First Amendment right. I'm here as a journalist collecting information for a news story. Right, but if there is this is GSA law. You're causing a disturbance. How? How am I, what, is, what is That's a disturbance? the call we got. They said that you so were cameras, causing a disturbance with an employee. So a camera is causing disturbance because I don't know the details. Okay. My partner. Well, then let me tell you. Let me tell you. He came out before I, I I came out and just before I even tried going in. I'm looking at all this, and he comes out and says, "You can't come in because you're recording." Okay. Well, I don't know. They're, they're, see, they have right there. Yeah, look, look. I'll, 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 on photography and videography right Where's there. the law for that? Because, like, over here, there's laws backing up these, right? There's no law for this one. Okay. And well, hold, hold on, hold on. We're not done. Hold on. Well, GSA, federal, federal law, federal law says I am allowed right for photographs, yes, for newsing, advertising, and commercial yes, purposes. Sir, did you identify yourself or no? No. no. Okay. Um, are you refusing to leave? Uh, do I have to? Yeah, they want. They don't yes. want you here. He's trespassing. So if you refuse to leave, can I talk to a supervisor? Um, so here's the deal. If you refuse to leave, you can take the jail. So sorry, you're threatening to arrest me if I don't leave right now. I'm We're giving you an opportunity. Well, no, no, no. I'll, I'll leave if yeah. you guys are saying that I have to. Yeah, you have to leave. If, are you doing business here? Yeah. What kind of business are you doing? I'm, I'm gathering information for a new story. I'm a journalist. Okay. So he said you guys can, again, film here. So you have well, to actually, outside. I understand he may say that. Yeah, there's, but, a, there's a policy there, too. Well, actually, the right. they, they can have a policy, but there's a law here that says that. Okay. okay, just another minute, and he'll be in uh, bracelets and on his way out the door. So just kind of hang in there. Uh, I slowed it back down again when we get to the end. Can do it. Okay. One at a time. They're saying they send no, but, but, well, they, but they don't get to trump my rights. Okay, but this is the thing though. Like we have yep. the right to I to do this. To and do what? To essentially guard their rights. What rights so, are you guarding? Because you're you're trampling over mine right this now. This is how it's gonna go. You can either leave right now, please, or we will arrest you for trespassing. All right. That's what I need to know. Can I get a supervisor? I need what? a supervisor. What? One on the way. You I need can a supervisor. Sure. No, I need a supervisor. You can go wait over there on that property. You can though. do it off the property. I, I, I'm also going to need the name of that security guard. I'm also going to identify you too. What's your name? You can. No. You're not no. My name. No. no. I am going to identify you. Are you, you to identify yourself? Yeah. Okay. I can take you to jail for that. You know that, right? For what? What crime did I commit? <laughs> for interfering with the police. How do I interfere? Because you're interfering by not identifying yourself. I already told you. And you're refusing to, you. to leave this property. We were trying uh, to I, I'm the leaving right now. You're still talking to me. Then leave. Okay. Can leave. I get your guys' names Bye. and badge numbers? Yep. Sure. I need um, you to... What is it? Go. Go. go now. I'm walking. You if don't control... Leave, I'll take you to jail. I just said I'm leaving. You're Except not leaving. You can I am. Do, you need to do well, I need your names and badge numbers. Are we done, Jenna? Yeah, I'm walking away. I'm walking away. Put your hands behind your back. I was. Hey, record, you want to record this? So, there you go. Go ahead. That's yeah. cool, right? You can put it on your YouTube channel. That cop's funny. You want to record this? You can put it on your YouTube channel. He knows who this guy is, what he's up to, and uh, why he's doing what he does. Anyway, yeah, what an idiot. What a damn idiot. I cut out the part where he actually got put in the cuffs and all that because YouTube's cracking down on that stuff and taking money away from people and all sorts of nefarious things. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all have a fantastic day now. Love ya. Bye. Hey, record. You want to record this? So, there you go. Yeah. That's cool, right? You can put it on your YouTube channel.